So that's why. Shall we get going? We don't have all night, you know. There's still a curfew. Hey, let's go to Polonia Mall. I hear they're gonna have lights up. Everything must feel so different under that kind of atmosphere. To be honest, I've been looking forward to it. a famous designer for these decorations? Here, I have a present for you. It's been a while since I've made something like this. I hope it tastes all right. Next year, I'm gonna get you something really nice. Thank you. Honestly, when I first met you, I never thought we'd end up spending Christmas together like this. I was just so used to being all on my own. I'm only gonna tell you this because it's a special day, but I actually always dreamed of doing something like this. I know that with everything going on, it's not exactly the time to be getting all warm and fuzzy. But one night couldn't hurt, right? Just for today, I want to be by your side. Can't be the only one staying out late on a day like this, right? Except for Junpei, I guess. I can't imagine him having a romantic evening out. Ugh, sorry, that isn't the point. I just want to stay with you a little longer. Hey, are you cold? It's chilly, right? Can I come closer? Hoping you could keep me warm, maybe.
good day. Are you accepting a request? I've been waiting for you. So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. So this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. If I might be permitted to ask, when I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold, do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? There was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. It was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. Let me put it more plainly. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to guide me through it. Thank you. as if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for you. That is why I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Of course. 
you have my thanks. Very well, then. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering, I see. Will you register it to the Compendium? All registered. Now then, let's begin. What kind of persona do you desire? Satisfied with this? What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a large amount of power. So it begins. Choose the personas you would like to fuse. Very well. We look forward to your next visit. He's not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. Missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still, I'm really sorry. Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing. 
Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Any... Uh, where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then, but that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. You think so? In a good way, right? Like, I'm more mature. Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, Thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. I am Thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the chariot arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the chariot within thyself. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. I see you back.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Now then, let's begin. What kind of persona do you desire? Take all the time you need to consider. Are you satisfied with this? Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a large amount of power. <laughs> a new power emerges. your progress so far. Does that persona catch your eye? This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. Stock. Check it out if you've got the time. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. That what you want? All right then. That what you want? All right then. You gotta tell no that what you want? Great. It's all yours. I never feel like the I never feel like that what you want? All right then. Baby still with me. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. You gotta tell no Everything looks good. It's all yours. What'll it be? What are you looking for? 
Baby's still with me. Everything look good here? All right, then. You gotta tell no. Everything look good. All right then. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing you. this at the store when I said I was looking for a movie with a cool, hard-boiled main character. But so far, he just seems like a reckless old man to me. He even fell for that woman's lies. Do people really think this guy is cool? Oh, that's right. We are only halfway through the movie. <gasps> He's surrounded by gangsters again! He was so cool! He actually knew it was a lie the whole time, and he was just pretending to be tricked. His signature phrase was so good, too! You can't be a detective without smarts, and you've got no right being a detective without a heart.
Thank you. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I was asking the teacher about something I didn't understand in class. But then it led to even more questions, so <laughs> I was stuck there for a while. Ugh, this is so heavy. I shouldn't have crammed everything in there. No, it's okay. I'll just think of it as weight training. Still, I can't believe how heavy these textbooks are. Students all over the world have it rough. Whenever I come to this field, I get so nostalgic. It hasn't even been that long since we coached those kids though, huh? You said it. I had to really put my brains and body to work. I've never had to run around like that. Not even for the track team. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. It's from those kids. They told me to make sure I give it to him. Yeah, they usually just called you coach or boyfriend, huh? You get something like this, it makes you forget how tough it was in the moment. Kind of makes me want to do it all again. What about you? Huh? Me? Well, yeah, I guess I do want to. Next time we should get more people to help coach, though. It was pretty tough with just the two of us. Once I'm caught up on school, I'd like to take some time to think. Not just about coaching, but about enjoying life and stuff too. <laughs> I can hardly wait. All right, time to study like hell. Oh, let me know when you figure out what you want to do for your future too, okay? If you decide on something similar, maybe we could even study together. Books. See you around. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. I suppose. In this fight, each side had one win and one loss. A serious all-or-nothing match. 
and the fact that they were lifelong rivals only helped them push each other to the top. Do you have anyone you'd consider a rival? <laughs> Interesting. I think facing off against you would make for a good match. But I have no intention of losing. Maybe we should try sparring sometime. Anyways. You'd have to be really lucky to find a partner like that. All the athletes from the other schools avoid me. So it's tough finding an opponent to spar with. And uh, I don't think a long-time childhood friend is quite the same thing as a rival. But hey, the world is a big place. I'll just keep polishing my skills until I find the right person. <laughs> Sorry, we were supposed to be relaxing, but I just ended up talking the whole time. Let's do this again. I'll put on some real good matches then. I didn't notice the time. Before you go to sleep, you want to crack a raw egg for some protein first? <laughs> <laughs> 